Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here are several useful preferences in Photoshop. First, I'll use Command K on the Mac, Control K on Windows to display Photoshop's preferences. In the general preferences, I prefer to skip transform when placing. This allows me to place several images at a time without having to commit to the transform every time. And when I'm doing a lot of batch processing and I don't need smart objects, I might want to think about disabling the option to always create smart objects when placing. That will most likely enable my batch processing to run faster. In the interface panel, not only can I change the color theme to a darker color or a lighter color, I can also change the highlight color, making it easier to see what's selected. As you become more familiar with Photoshop and its features, you might want to disable the tooltips. Under File Handling, if you prefer to have Photoshop Save As to the most recently saved folder, you can uncheck the Save As to the original folder. And I set the Maximize PSD and PSB file compatibility to Always to ensure that they're compatible with other applications such as Lightroom. If you prefer not to see the checkerboard in transparent areas, you can use transparency and gamut and set the grid size to none. Under units and rulers, not only can you set the default units of measurement, you can also set the new document preset resolutions so that every time you open a new document, it will default to these. When working with guides, I prefer my guides to be a much more subtle color. And you can also change grid lines and subdivisions when working on different size documents. I also tend to increase the width of the path when they're difficult to see on high resolution monitors. Under Type, I prefer the Escape key to cancel any changes, so I disable Use Escape key to commit to text. Finally, if you hold down Command Option Shift on Mac or Control Alt Shift on Windows, and you click on one of the color swatches, you can toggle through the toast and coffee Easter eggs in Photoshop.